what's up YouTube this is King of the Randoms here back with another video and in this video I will be giving you a follow-up to my educational video on how to change the primary target for the Cayo Perico heist there were a lot of questions and a lot of frustrated players who could not get the change the primary target glitch to work so I'm here to give you a step-by-step -step instruction on how to do it from beginning to end all the little tips and tricks and nuances that I do in order to accomplish this now before we get started I would appreciate a subscription if you have not already done so I'm trying to reach 500 subscribers so that I can open up the community tab on the YouTube page that will help me interact with you a lot more and be able to find out what types of videos you would like to see on this channel and as always if you enjoy the content please drop a like I know it's cliche but it really does help with the algorithm apologies in advance because this will be a very long video but I will put timestamps in the description in order for you to be able to navigate to what particular parts you want to hear about specifically and with that being said let's go ahead and get started now first things first I'm going to assume that you already have a Kasaka now things will work a little bit faster if you have a sparrow or a mark to oppressor to get around the map a little bit faster but the important thing is to have the kasaka and you should have already done the heist at least once which means you've already had the madrazo files and you do not have them anymore i'm also going to assume that you're trying to lock in hard mode so let's take this from the perspective that you've just completed the heist which means you've loaded back into Los Santos after you've completed that heist and in a few moments you're going to receive a text message from Pavel bragging about how easy it was to pull off the heist that you just did in Cayo Perico. Now once you've received that text it will start the chain of events that will lead up to you being able to lock in hard mode because after you've received that initial text in approximately 10 minutes Pavel will contact you once again letting you know that it is now safe for you to return to Kaya Perico at that point you have 48 minutes to lock in hard mode now what I would do is set a timer for 48 minutes at that point but to be on the safer side you may want to give yourself a little bit of a buffer because depending on how quickly your system allows you to uh, go from closed app to back online or from story mode to back online will depend on how many attempts you get at this so just to be on the safe side why don't you set your timer for 45 minutes which would which should still be plenty of time to get the target that you want with a very 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 high success rate and when I say very high success rate I would say easily over 95 percent chance of getting the target that you want now you're dealing with a random number generator so what I can't tell you how many times it's going to take for you to get that target sometimes you can get it on the first try sometimes it may take five times sometimes it may take ten times but what I can tell you is that if you follow these steps step by step that I mentioned you should be able to get that target a lot more than not so you've received the text message from Pavel alerting you that it's safe to go back to Cayo Perico you have set the timer to 45 minutes and what I want you to do is register as a CEO or a VIP I strongly recommend one of those two versus the MC for some reason for me personally I always tend to get a better primary and secondary targets when I'm doing it as a CEO or a VIP versus an MC president now just as you always do with every single Kyle Perico heist you need to go to the location where the vellum is in order to fly to Kyle Perico and once you get to Kyle Perico you don't start scoping the airstrip no you're going to run to the end of the airstrip 
hop onto the bike, which is the Manchester, Man Manchester Scout, and take the best route you have to get to the control tower. So there are a ton of videos on YouTube telling you how to speed run or quickly get to the tower. You do whatever makes you more comfortable. The goal here is to get to the control tower without getting caught. Now, once you've gotten to the control tower, the box that you have to hack in will either be at the bottom or the top of the control tower. It really depends on if the guard is going to be near the control tower. So everything is going to be the same. You're going to have to do the same puzzle on the box in order to be able to hack into the control. The, the cameras in the compound on your phone so go in do the puzzle go to your phone pull it up and start scoping the compound now once you've hacked in go to the phone pull up the camera feed and you can either take your time or you can start spamming to the right which is typically what i do the goal is to go over three cameras until you get to the basement now the basement is the camera that you're going to scope the primary target once you land on the basement camera you're going to pan your camera to the left until you see something within the case it'll either be sensimito tequila a ruby necklace or a pink diamond if you don't see anything in that case that means you're going to get the bearer bonds so i won't go into great detail on the ranking order of the best targets uh, but for me, Pink Diamond is the one that I try to go with. So, let me state this up front now. I'm not mentioning Panther Statue because Panther, Sp Panther Statue is only available on special events. If you come across anyone uh, on any website or any Discord talking about back to back and they have a Panther Statue, it's because they kept the Panther Statue from when it was released one of the two previous times at the time of this video the panther statue has only been released twice and they've kept it since then which means they've been glitching the heist ever since then so i won't, won't go more into that but but that's uh i want to make sure i state that up front panther statue is not in the heist anymore and if and when it ever does return, you will hear about it because the GTA community will go crazy over it. All right, now that we've got net out of the way and you scope the primary target, let's say you get the Sensimito or the Ruby Necklace or even a Bear Bonds, but you want to get that pink diamond at this point. So what you're going to do is you don't have to scope any more of the targets in the camera. You just back out of the camera and then you listen to Pavel finish talking. And this is where you're going to have to make sure you have some things set up. So you want to make sure that your spawn location is set to Kasaka. Not the last location, but set it to the Kasaka. And you also want to get your uh, console or your PC set up as best as you can to be able to either close app or disconnect from the internet as quickly as possible. That's going to be a key thing in order for you to be able to get the target to change uh, once you get everything locked in. All right. So once Pablo finishes talking, you want to go to your options menu and find a new session. Uh, I recommend if you're on the uh, new gen systems, you can go to your interaction, your option menu and find a invite only session. If you're on an old gen, you may have to just find a new session. I'm sorry. That's one of the things they didn't add into the game. Hopefully you'll end up in a lobby where you're still able to register as a VIP or a CEO. So uh, I recommend you load into the lobby and check to make sure that you still have your CEO or your VIP. If you don't, go and find a new session and we're going to try this again. All right. Now, once you are in that new session, you're still a CEO or a VIP or even at this point, if you decided to do an MC president, that's fine too. go back to the board 
and you're going to gather intel again. So you're going to gather intel. Once you leave your Kasaka, there's going to be a message that pops up on the bottom of the screen telling you to go to LSIA. You're going to head towards LSIA, but don't go all the way there first. Now, on the way there, Pavel is going to call you and kind of give you props for going back to the island to scope for even more things. Once Pavel finishes talking, you're going to pull up your phone, call Pavel, and cancel the heist. Canceling the heist is the only option that you're going to get for uh, Pavel. If you don't cancel the heist and back out, you didn't cancel the heist. Now, you will cancel the heist because that's what you want to do. And you will notice that once you get off the phone, you will still have that message at the bottom of the screen saying, go to Los LSIA, go to LSIA. And you're going to actually go into the checkpoint at the hangar. So now this is your second time going to Cayo Perico and you don't have to fly to Vellum there. All you have to do is go to the airstrip and you'll go to a cutscene and you'll end up back at the airstrip in Cayo Perico just like you did the very first time. All the cutscenes with the guard is all the same. So you're going to be at the airstrip. Once you get at the airstrip, once again, you're going to run to the end of the airstrip, grab the motorcycle and go to the tower just like you did before. The only difference this time will be the target that you scope, the primary target that you scope will be Sensimito Tequila. Every time you do this on the second go round, it's going to be Tequila, nothing else. If you get something else, you did something wrong, you need to rewind the video and start over again. And just as before, you see the target that you want, which is Sensimito this time. You back out of the camera, you wait for Pavel to finish talking, and then you go to your uh, options menu and you find a new session once again. This is where it gets to be very, very important, so please pay attention. Once you've loaded back into your Kasaka, you have to force a save. And the most common way of forcing a save is to change your outfit. You can change your outfit to another one from your interaction menu, or you can do something like uh, put on some body armor, eat a snack, and then try to change your clothes if you're having trouble with it saving. This will lock it in for you to be able to do the glitch. Now, let me remind you, this is completely random. You have a random number generator and no one outside of Rockstar knows the equation. So no one can tell you how many times you have to do this in order for it to work. However, as I mentioned before, uh, you should still have plenty of time to get this done within a 48 minute window. If you're anything like me and you've pretty experienced with the heist, you should have roughly 30 minutes or I would say between 25 and 30 minutes in order for you to try to get the target that you want. So now that you've forced the save and you've locked in the glitch, you need to return to your board and pay for the heist again. It's going to tell you that you have to pay $25,000 in order to lock in hard mode. You're going to say yes and pay for it again. Now, once you do that, take a look at the board again. There's going to be another target that pops up. It could still be tequila, but chances are it'll be uh, Vera Bonds, or it could be Pink Diamond, or it can be uh, Ruby Necklace. If you don't see the target that you want, this is the point in which you're going to disconnect from the game, which means either you close the app, or you disconnect your internet, whichever one works the best for you. I do not recommend going back to story mode because it may do another save before you leave online and go to story mode. So you gotta be sure to disconnect. And I would recommend doing it within the first few seconds so that the game doesn't randomly 
uh, do another save. So you want to try to do it quickly. Now, either once you've gotten back into the app, you want to try to go back online into an invite-only session. You can go to a public session if you want to, but it's really not worth it. So just go to an invite-only session. That way, you know you'd be guaranteed to be able to register as a CEO, VIP, or an MC club president. Now, I would probably do the CEO myself. That's just how I've been doing it. So at this point, you're going to uh, register, go back to the board, pay for the heist again. If you look at the target and it changes to something that you don't want, you're going to disconnect once again. Don't save, but disconnect once again. Now, I know this could be a very frustrating thing. There's been times where I've gotten tequila, you know, probably five or more times in a row. But if you keep at it, this technique will work for you. So a couple of additional things that I did not include in the last video, which may or may not help with the random number generator. I don't know. It's completely random. So I just do these things just in hopes that it will help me get a better target. Um, after I've registered as a CEO and tried to change the target a few times, if I'm still not getting the target that I want, I may switch things up and register as an MC president. Do that once or twice to see if that's going to change the target. Um, if it doesn't, I'll switch back over to CEO and keep going through the rinse and repeat, repeat roll the target process. Um, another thing that I may do is once I load into the Kasaka, I typically play in third person. But, you know, if you didn't know, uh, running upstairs in first person will make you move around a lot quicker. And it the same thing applies while you're in the Kasaka. So I'll switch to first person, run up the stairs, and I'll stay in first person, go to the board, and pay for the heist again to see if that will prompt it to give me another target. So that may be another thing you could try as well. Also, um, you don't you don't have to force a save whilst, once you've kind of already locked it in. However, there are times where, like I mentioned earlier, the game will randomly save itself. So if you already have it locked in and you've just uh, loaded back in, you're going upstairs to pay for the heist again, and it starts to save. Just wait a moment, let it save. Then you go to pay for the heist and try to change the target again. Most of the time that I've noticed that happening for me, it ended up changing to the pink diamond. I have no idea if this is a true thing or not, uh, but I have noticed that on the last few times that I've tried this. Also, and this is one that I cannot confirm, but since it was brought up by a few people in my last video, uh, some people have mentioned that you are able to try to pay for the heist. If you don't see the target that you want, you can go to the moon pool in order to roll the target and then go back to the board and you should see something else. Me personally, I tried it a couple of times and I didn't get it to work for me. So I just reverted back to the process that I mentioned throughout this video and it ended up working for me. Now, I hope that this video has been helpful for you and I hope that I've at least earned a subscription from you if you haven't subscribed already. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers so I can get that community tab and interact with all the viewers and the subscribers as well to see what types of videos you all would like to see uh, in the future. Um, it's a much better way to engage with a YouTube channel uh, YouTuber and their channel versus comments within the videos themselves. And if you have already subscribed, thank you for the continued support. And for everyone else who just came across the video, hopefully I've at least earned a like from you. And uh, please feel free to share. You know, if you know someone who's having trouble doing this, share the video. If they have issues with it, they can reach out to me 
uh, through the video comments or hopefully at some point within the community tab itself. That being said, this is King of the Randoms and I hope to see you all in the next video. Take care everyone.